right, so I want to walk you through the latest version of Artbook Next. I'm showing it here on the RG353P, uh, which uses a version of Emulation Station that is also used in Batocera. So everything you see on this device is also usable on any Batocera installation as well. So something for your TV, things like that. And I also have a version of this theme that is built for RetroPie specifically, and also one that is built for Emul Emulation Station Desktop Edition. The same features exist in all three of those versions. The primary difference here with Batocera is that all of the features I'm going to let show you through today are selectable through the menu system, which is really nice. Uh, so first off, you have System View. And I have a few different options for System view, view here. Right now, you're looking at the default option. And this option essentially just has your primary system up front here, and then a peak of the upcoming systems left and right. So let's jump into UI settings. I'll show you the next option. Go to theme configuration, and then system view style. You can see here there's an option here called multi. If I select that option, whoops, I did not select it actually. <laughs> Sorry, one second. Theme configuration, system view, multi. Now you'll basically see all of these systems kind of stacked next to each other. There's another option here in UI settings for system view, and that's essentially to turn off artwork altogether. If you just like things really clean without any kind of background art, you have this option here. And then the last two options are kind of unique in that they bring in the option for you as a user to provide your own custom artwork without having to touch the theme at all. So if you were to select centered or full screen here, essentially what it does is on your SD card, you have an option of dropping images directly into a folder separate from the theme. And with this option selected, theme will look at that folder and bring in images automatically. So you could do things like drop in your own full screen artwork or centered art artwork if you want. And that gives you some options to customize the theme to your liking without having to touch the actual theme itself. Okay, let's go into UI settings, move on to the next option here. Let's change this back. Uh, let's go into aspect ratio. So the theme is supports multiple aspect ratios. On this device, it's four by three, so you can see it defaults to that. But this device also has a HDMI output. Because of that, I've also made sure that 16 by nine is selectable here as well. So for this particular device, if you were to hook it up over HDMI, what you would do is come into theme options and set it to 16 by nine. And then on your TV screen or screen, um, the theme would look essentially a bit more accurate. So it gives you some flexibility. In addition to these two aspect ratios, the theme also supports 5x3, 16x10, and 3x2 aspect ratios. And depending on the device you're, you're using this on, uh, it should automatically default to that, or at least give you the option to select between those. Let's move on to the next option here, which is color scheme. So I've created a few different color schemes in the theme itself. The first one is Artbook Next. This one is pretty simple. Um, it's just a you know, dark gray and a light gray kind of background motif on both sides. If I go into UI settings here and then change this over to Artbook itself. Now, this is a version of the theme I built way back in 2017, and it had a more of a dark and light kind of motif to it. So you can see here, that's kind of the structure here. And this device is kind of unique because it has a Super Nintendo layout, but it inspired another uh, color scheme, which is SNES. If I select that, you'll see we get to a more kind of purple color scheme to match the style of the Super Nintendo. And you can see on this device, it actually looks like it matches pretty well with the buttons. Kind of moving on to additional color schemes here. I'm currently working on the Retro Deck project for Steam Deck. So I also created a color scheme to match the Steam, Steam Deck OS. As you can see, it's more of a, a kind of a light blue and dark blue motif. And then I have an option I built yesterday called Famicom. It essentially, this goes for a kind of red color to match the Nintendo Famicom colors. Now, as you see me going through this, you can see there's, you know, there's some various changes here um, that I've also set up the option of you as a user. If you want to create your own custom theme, you have the option to do that as well. So if I were to select this, similar to what I was showing you before with the images artwork, 
Um, this allows you to place an XML file directly on your device. And if you set custom color scheme, then it'll reference that XML file as well as your settings for that color scheme directly and use that instead. So I just have a sample here that's just black and gray, um, but ultimately you have a lot of flexibility to change the colors you want. So I'll shoot another video separately on all the user customizations you could do, just so I could show you directly how to do that. All right, let's keep going here. Let's move this over to back here. Uh, scroll sound, there's two different sounds supported in the system now. There's the Steam Deck sound effect for kind of moving up and down. Then I also brought in the nice click, of, click sound effect from Emulate Sensation Desktop Edition. If there are additional sounds that you're interested in though, please let me know and I'll be glad to add them to the theme. And then the next option going on the list here is something called Status Bar Display. This is specifically tailored for the Bado Serra kind of version of the theme. And that's simply because in Bado Serra, as you can see here in the top right, it has the ability to display your Wi-Fi indicator as well as battery percentage. So in this case, if you wanted to turn those off, this gives you a simple way to just turn both of them off at once by setting that to off. And now you have a... Uh, uh, no indicator up here. And for devices like this, which run on Amber Elec, Jellos, um, that's set to default on just because they're battery powered devices. But like I said, if you wanted to turn them off, you could turn them off pretty simply. All right, let's move on to the last option here. And this pertains to the game list view, which is the view we're looking at right now. So the view style that I have on right now is called metadata on. And what that does is it provides a game list on the left side here, and then on the right side you have your image, a description of the game, and then all of the possible metadata you could display for that game as well. What it's rated, its genre, when it was released, who created it, who published it, and the number of players. So it gives you a pretty full featured view of the metadata for this particular game. As you can see as I scroll here, um, that metadata is kind of changing out nice as we go through. All right, let's go on to the next view. If I go into system settings here, sorry, UI settings here, theme configuration, and then change this to metadata on mix image. Essentially what this does is it creates a kind of virtual mix image style, which is a mix of the uh, image there plus video, and then overlaid on top of that video, you have the box art and uh, marquee over to the right here. So it gives you a nice clean way to create this almost like composite, mar a com composite mix image on the fly with your script and media assets. Um, yeah, pretty neat. Let's move on further into the next options here. So the next option here is just called metadata off, and this essentially is just media. So you'll see I have the same game list, game list on the left, but on the right side, I just have the artwork itself for the game. If you were to scrape, say, like the box art of the game instead of the screenshot that I have here, it would basically take up the whole space here for box art. So it's pretty flexible for what it supports. And then the last option, um, this is something I introduced initially with Artbook Next when I first built it. It's called Metadata Off, and I've changed the name here to Zoomed, because it literally what it does is it zooms the video and artwork here on the left side, on the right side, and gives you this really nice kind of immersive view of the game list. So yeah. And scroll support's pretty easy. I obviously have a lot of Super Nintendo games on here. Um, but yeah, this is, a, this is really simple to set up. It's available on most devices at this point. Like I said, because we have it um, available on Botocera, it's usable on any devices that also use the Botocera version of Emulation Station, such as this one. So um, if you want to try it out, I'll have my GitHub link in the description below. And if you're using a device that doesn't support Botocera, like I mentioned earlier in the video, there's also a version for RetroPie and one for Emulation Station Desktop Edition that I'll also link as well. I uh, hope you like it. And yeah, if you have any questions or other ideas, please let me know. Thanks so much.